All right, now that kids are, are comfortable, they're familiar um, with base 10 blocks, um, and they're, they're starting to use the, the base 10 chart, uh, writing down values, um, and they're starting to develop a sense of place value. I think the next logical step is um, to play a game I like to call um, Race to 100. Actually, um, it's not that I created the game. Um, it's a very popular base 10 activity. Uh, one that my professor, Dr. Sarah Hines, taught me, um, and it's pretty popular. It's out there on the web. Uh, so basically what you need is you need your base 10 charts, you need base 10 blocks, and you need um, dice. Uh, in today's case, I'm just going to be using a die. Um, and instead of playing race to 100, we're actually going to play race to 10. And the reason why we'll be playing race to 10 uh, is because there's an important rule that um, we need to familiarize kids with, and that's the trade-in rule. Uh, we know this as regrouping. You know, when we add, um, you know, uh, 11 plus 9, you know, we regroup the 1's column and we and we bring over to uh, the 10's column. Uh, but we don't really understand why most of the time. It's, it's, it becomes so automatic. Um, you know, but for many kids, again, it's, it's automatic and they don't understand why. But working with um, the the base 10 um, place value sheets and base 10 blocks and playing the game helps understand the ideas behind regrouping. So um, the game is race to 10. We're just going to use a very basic rule. It's called the trade-in rule. And basically what the trade-in rule is, is anytime we have 10 of any of the units, rods or flats, we trade in for the next higher. Uh, for example, if we have um, if we have six uh, if we have six ones and we add four more when we roll, that means you would have ten units. So what we'll do is we will trade in ten units for one rod, and of course the rod goes uh, in the rod column. Right, and the same thing goes for uh, for ten rods. If we had ten rods, right, what we'll do is we'll trade in one higher, which is a flat. Uh, but since we're playing race to ten, we're just worrying about we're just worrying about our ones. Um, so now the kids know, now the kids know the rule. We have two place value sheets, one for each player, um, and we have a die. So first person will roll four. I'll add a four, and then the next person rolls whatever they get. And then it's my turn again. I roll. Five. So I'm going to pick out five. One, two, three, four, five. And then what I'll do is I will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right? And then the other person will go, and then I'll go afterwards. So it's my turn. Now I have two, so I'll pick out two, one, two. Now what I'll do is I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now when I add my first one, there's ten. Trade-in rule, always emphasize trade-in rule. You know, it'll take a while before kids, before it becomes automatic with kids. So, so we know that when we get ten units, we trade in four. One rod. We put the rod here, and we still have our one unit from left over. So we won. We were the first to get to ten, and we actually got higher than ten. And if we want to find out exactly what we got, we can either count it: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, or we can just use what children are accustomed to that we've been teaching them. We have one rod and one unit which is also 11. Once kids are comfortable with, um, with 
that the game raced to 10, it's, 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 it's only logical that, you know, we can start playing race to 20, race to 30, race to 40. Uh, I think the main thing that we want to get them used to is that trade-in rule uh, and the regrouping. Um, and then once they are comfortable with, with some of those higher numbers, we can eventually uh, get to race to a flat. Now, we can still use a die, um, or if you want to make things more interesting, you can use two die. Um, the only thing is, you know, when they roll, um, you know, like 10, you know, you can give them an option of, you know, instead of, you can, you can have them either pick out 10, 10 units, you know, do the whole regrouping, you know, one by one with, with the one, uh, in the ones place, or you can just, um, model to them that, um, that 10 is the same thing as one rod, right? 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we can just add that to our, to our, to our rods. Just write down over here. So we have two rods, now it's 21. Um, or if they have, or if they roll um, 11 or 12, um, you know, they could always have um, a rod, which is 10 and 1. And they can just put that instead, or they can count out um, whichever way works for them. You know, but for just for, to have them recognize 11 as as one rod and one unit is an important step. Alright, and have fun playing Race to 100.